Hey guys, it's Mastraff, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Now, before we get into this Let's Play, I would just like to mention something. I am taking you into the depths of video game history. I am taking you back to 1991, where video games were just coming out of their old retirement home. Back in the crash, obviously, in the 80s. Guns and sports games being the most popular games out there was a laugh. And the Windows 95 personal computer was just a thought. It's now time to delve into the NES. And let's see what we get. I welcome you to this. Yes! Lights! Camera! Action 52! Made by Active Enterprises in 1991 for the NES. This is by far and away one of the worst games, not only in the history of the NES, not only the history of any Nintendo based console, but in video game history, in my opinion. I would rather play Pong on my own for 12 hours straight than um, I've had to have paid $199 for this game. It sounded good back in the day. 52 games for $199. However, since every console and every cartridge on a console has a certain space they could have, you could tell all these games were crap. Anyway, there are 52 games on here. We will be playing all of them. And yes, number 36 is called Storm Over D. <laughs> anyway, so, let's kick off with number one. Fire Breathers. You're a dragon. There's a blue dragon as well. And it's already glitching down here. Ooh. Up, oh, it hurts me. There's a health bar. Why isn't they, why isn't the other dragon moving? You fire at it. The reason? It's a two-player game. So, it's time to kill off this dragon, because no one likes him, because he's in Action 52. Damn it, they said, Prima said, damn it, dragon, why couldn't you be in a good game like Legend of Zelda or Metroid? Or Super Mario Brothers. But no, you decided to be in Action 52, didn't you? As you can tell, I have played this game. I know this game is terrible. I know every single game on this platform is... I wouldn't say terrible, but I'd say... Well, actually, no, I would. Most of them are terrible. Some of them are just below mediocre. Anyway, that's it. First person to nine wins, I believe. Or it's best of nine. And then you're back at the start screen. Next game. Star Evil. Number two. All right, let's go. <sighs> Only one game in. Anyway, let's go. Yeah! Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, go away. They put a block right at the start. You have to know exactly what's coming up, or you will most certainly die. We are firing anorexic dumbbells. Up. Uh, and our opponents. We will win. We will be the greatest. We will be this weird. I don't even know what it is. Birthday cake upside down. I don't know. In my I don't even know what we're going up against either. We're even going up against, like, ourselves. Ah, boss time. Hello. Up. Oh, I got hit. Ah, uh, uh. I got hit and died. Sometimes the first level boss doesn't even bother to show up. Isn't that nice of it? He's there going, I, don't, I can't even be bothered to be... In it. Sod that, then. Sod that game. No. But the first level boss sometimes doesn't even bother showing up. Pretty much showing that even it doesn't care about this game, let alone anyone else. Next game. Right, Illuminator, number three. Let's go. You're playing as an old man. And he has to fire light balls at vampires. Tell me what's that vampire from Sesame Street, you know. You know what I'm on about. Two. Ah, ah, ah. Three. Ah, ah, ah. I hate this game. 
In my, if this game was, there are some games here which, if they were actually well, well made, they may actually have been good games for the time. But the fact that Action Enterprises thought, oh, let's just make 52 games on a cons, on a, a con, on the console, the NES. Ah, level two, nice. Nothing changes. All you get are these shadowy figures, which can also shoot. So, new enemy! Gonna take on Dancing Shadow Guy that never moves anywhere. Oh no, that one does. I believe that they're caught in a glitch! I believe. These are glitches. Some of them don't even run. You are dancing, my friend. I will prevent that. So yeah, but seriously though, why did they even think that they could do 52 games on, an N on the NES and actually make any of them decent at all? Let's be honest here. Level 3! I believe there's like nine levels to ep And I died. I died because I fell. Like that. When you fall from too great a height. Like, let's put it away. If this character, if this guy's like five foot eleven, let's say. <sighs> if this character's like five foot eleven, then let's say he dropped like eight feet, landed on his feet, and still died. Actually, technically, he didn't even land on his feet. Watch. Actually, no, I can't. I can't watch because that guy's glitching. Watch. Yeah, he doesn't even land on his feet. He dies in midair. This is terrible. Anyway, game over. Next one. Ooze, which is the game which actually you start off with all the time. You actually, when you start the game, it starts you with ooze. It doesn't start you with fire breathers, for example, which is a bit odd. Anyway, ooze sounds good. It has a title screen. Active Enterprise pretty much gave a few of the games title screens, like, their best games they gave title screens. This game is... Yeah. Anyway, let's go! Yes! You're playing as a... Uh, I don't know, a fat Elmer Fudd? Elmer Fudd was fat anyway, but fatter than Elmer Fudd. And what are you doing? You're shooting a shit pickle! Up, oh, and I'm dead already. Damn it, shit pickle, you fired at me! Ugh. Right. When it comes to jumping controls in this game, you have to, uh, press. You can't hold down the jump button, because if so, you're stuck. And... Uh, Patrick Warner killed me! Great. And I have six lives! Oh god, I could be here a while. Damn it, ooze. Oh, alright. But pretty much, if you stay up the... Oh, you can't fire a shot when I've just killed you. Can't be that much of a dick, you know. Actually, no, apparently... Okay, apparently you can, shit pickle. Damn it, shit pickle. Anyway, so if you hold down the jump button like normal people do in a platformer, it keeps you stationary. See, you lock. So you have to tap the button, not hold on to it. Completely changes your idea on platformers, right? Because holding on to it... Normally means that oh damn I keep forgetting about that. Normally makes it so you jump more or further. At least that's what I thought. It was expectation that you'd jump further. Come on! I can make it past the first level of ooze. Please. Die, shit pickle. Haha! -ha! Oh god. Oh god. No! Water turns me into ooze. Hit this guy. Now we know that some person has a weakness to water. It's not who we thought it was, anyway. Ah, and there's random ooze dropping from the ceiling. That does not make this any easier. You're dead. I think you gotta kill this and then jump on here. Then that goes past. I was jumping just in case. You can't duck in this game. Die, shit pickle. And you. As for music, eh, I've heard worse things. Ah, oh, damn it. They just turn up from out of nowhere and kill you. It's awful. And I still have two lives left. Damn it, ooze. What the actual hell? Seriously, come on. Uh, all right, there's a death. You need one more. So let's put it this way. The turbo button is your best friend here. The turbo button. And then you fall off. But yeah, for that game and a lot of jumping games in, in the Action 52 series of games, the turbo jump is your best friend for that one. Anyway, next game. 
We're only five in. God. Anyway, next up is Silver Sword. Yeah! Sort of reminds me of the ninja, actually, from the, uh... On, on, on the Sega Mass system. That game wasn't very good either. If I'm honest. I owned it. Also, you're firing swords. Which aren't even silver, but never mind. This music, if it was remixed, would actually probably sound quite awesome. Look at me, I'm singing at Action 52. And you know what? I'm not even shooting anything, I'm just walking. I think if you stay in the center, possibly, nothing actually turns up at the center. Unless they walk into you. But they don't actually appear going down the center. I, I seem to have found that you just walk, and then you die. And then you're back at the start again. Oh, it's a rock. And then there are these cabbages, for example. There are cabbages, and there are rocks. There are enemies like worms. Worms with gigantic eyes that fire... Bees. Pink bees or something. I don't know. This... Let's put it this way. I know about video game programming. I've obviously, as you guys have known, uh, seen from a few years ago. I have actually created a few games. Never finished them, but I have created some. And I have actually created platformer g for platforming games. I made one in college, in fact. Um, and that was better than most of the games on here. I guarantee you. It was a great game. It was like Super Mario Brothers, only it was a lot more hilarious than Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers was known for its legend, for, for its legend, for its legacy. My game, it was a little head of Mr. Burns jumping around, jumping on things with just their arm, their front arms, not their, or their front legs, their back legs are gone. So they were just dragging themselves across the floor. They were called Mick Draggers, by the way, and the game was Angry Burns The Game. Get it now at your local game store. Whatever, I don't know. We don't have a game store anymore. It's uh, closed down. <sighs> For an Apple store. And I meant Apple as in Steve Jobs' Apple. Anyway, let's carry on. Critical BP. Oh, yes. We have to protect against the oil spillages. No. Critical bypass. Now it's spelt with a Y instead of an I. It's critical bypass. I feel like crying. Anyway. Oh, God. This is a game that should have an epilepsy warning. I don't have epilepsy at all, but I guarantee to you one. Oh, I got to look. I got to talk about the controls in a minute. But first, that is trippy. If not anything else, and I'm dead. The controls. You fire in the way you're moving. If you're not moving, you're gonna fire where you last where you last fired, I believe. Oh, I'm just gonna check this. Nope, it fires you where you're facing. But it's sort of you, uh, I don't know, anyway. That yeah, they're all coming to kill me. I have 75 points! Wow, I didn't even think I'd get that much. Which makes it annoying! Oh, that whole thing. Anyway, I'm shooting at I'm shooting at you. I'm shooting at you! I'm shooting at the sort of table mode thing, view, that you get on some phones when you're surfing the internet. Or you're doing something else. It's actually on my actual my Sony Xperia phone. Only this came a lot before the Sony Xperia. And the Sony Xperia is a lot better. It's got better games on it for a kickoff. Oh, sorry. Apps. Anyway, game over. Oh, well. 360 points. That's a very good score. No one will ever beat that. Ever. Anyway, next up, Jupiter Scope or Jupiter Scope. Yeah, I don't know why they just went for J Scope or something. I don't know. Anyway, Jupiter Scope. Let's do this. Ooh, a shooter. Oh, I see what it is. There's a city there. And these are meteors. We have to try and save them. Save the world. Also, all you need to do is the fire button with this. Uh. Hello? Enemies? Enemies, where are you? Yoo-hoo! Enemies! Enemies! Oh, there's one yet! Ah, oh, I missed it. By the way, if you... Now, now, this game would have been good 
if a certain number of meteors went past you, you lose, or you lose a life, that'd have been good. But no, what you get is the only way you can lose is if your spaceship, I think, gets hit. And if you just keep randomly firing, look, I'm just going to keep randomly firing and I'm going to take a drink with my other hand. God, that sounds terrible. As long as you're firing, nothing comes along. That's the game, pretty much, in a nutshell. I'm just gonna... yeah. Eh. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Yeah, but if you just randomly fire, like this, nothing comes up. So, you can technically go on this game forever. But I'm not going to. Meteors, take me now! Alright. Game over. Ah, <sighs> next game. Alfredo! Oh, yes. Back when Freddos were about five pence. Don't know who Al is, but did he make the Freddos? If so, stop making them too bleeding expensive. Oh no, it's called Alfred N. The Fedic. Alfred and the Fedic. Greatest name for a game ever. Seriously. Brilliant. Anyway, let's go! Yeah! The game works! On the actual NES, it didn't! Also, with... What are we holding? A shovel? We can jump, it's got the same jump mechanics as Ooze, sadly. Ah, and I die in one hit. Guys, it's like the first Goomba! Oh, did I squat? Was that like an open banana? Damn it, Alfred, you're, you're... You're ruining it here, buddy. If my... Uh, I died. You had to get two lives! No, I want to do that again. I haven't actually played this one before, I played the rest of them, but... I haven't played Alpha in the Fedic because the other emulator I used last time, it crashed. Pretty much has the same thing as the actual NES, where this game crashes. Oh, yes. Squash him! Squash him with your amazing shovel! Your shovel of doom. I was nowhere near that! Damn Alpha in the Fedic. More like the I'm not even going to say, actually. Never mind. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for this part in the next part of Let's Play Action 52. Operat Moon. Op op Oprah at Oprah. Oprah at Moon? Is Oprah going to the moon and she didn't even tell anyone about it? It's going to be a great show, though. Anyway, I'll see you then. See you later.